Chris Kai here. Tonight I'm making some more chili garlic pepper sauce. I'm running low on that, so I'm gonna make some more tonight. What I got here is some oil, about um, four cups of uh, vegetable oil, and about two cups of chopped garlic, fresh chopped garlic. Be careful. It's very dangerous, it's very high heat, so once the garlic goes in there, I want to low the heat to medium. And you want to continue to cook this until the garlic is golden brown, okay? Okay, this is getting close to uh, being golden brown. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I want it to be like this. Let's see. Like that better? That, okay. You want to get it to be this uh, golden. This was um, frying for about five to seven minutes, okay? Continuously stirring it until it's golden like this. Okay, and now we're going to turn off the heat, remove it from the heat, here, oops, okay, and then I add in our um, chili pepper, chili powder pepper, okay. And the reason why you move it from the heat because the oil is very hot, it's going to continue to cook. And you don't want it to burn the garlic or the pepper. So it's important that you remove it from the heat when you add the chili. Otherwise, you're going to have a burnt flavored chili peppers. Okay. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now, I've done this um, back in the past, my other video, where I did it with a whole, uh, whole pepper where I soaked the dried chili peppers and then blend it up. But... You can just buy ones that are already, um, the powder one that's already blended for you, okay, at the store. Some of those peppers are more spicier than others, so depending how spicy you like your pepper to be, and add as much or as little. Let's see. I'm actually going to add another. I have about two. Two tables, I mean two um, cups of chili pepper. I'm going to add another half cup more to it. And if you want it redder, the trick is to use either paprika or the Korean chili pepper powder. That's uh, really very good to use. I like, I like this brand um, by uh, Wang. Korean chili peppers. Okay. Just to give it more color or you know use paprika two about three Let's see my lighting okay that's better you can see how red it is and we're gonna add some chicken bouillon seasoning this is optional um, I like my chilies to be already flavored, so I don't have to add too much when I use it. Chicken bouillon, about two tablespoons. And some MSG, optional. Two tablespoons as well. And that's it. This is how I make my chili peppers for recipes, I mean for dishes like pho, kopiak, um, anything that calls for chili pepper in a soup, I use this. Hmm, can you smell the garlic? <laughs> Might want to do this outside if possible because otherwise the house is going to smell all garlicky all night long. I have all my windows and doors open but it's going to linger for a while. <laughs> Yeah. 
Where's me? Let's see. Where am I lighting? Ooh, it depends what kind of lighting situation you're in. The darker, redder, it depends, but it should be very red looking to you when you make it. Okay, so that's it. And just wait for this to completely cool down before you jar it. Voila guys, garlic chili oil. Very simple, easy, and tasty chili oil. Ready to be used in anything that calls for chili oil. Um, this can now be stored or left in room temperature, or you can refrigerate it. I like to refrigerate mine because it lasts longer that way. The aroma and the smell lasts longer if you refrigerate it. And also, it uh, the oil doesn't turn uh, or taste different um, so, or start smelling different. So that's why I refrigerate mine. Okay. This is going to probably last me a whole year. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's good. If you refrigerate it, it's good for six months to a year, depending how, how, uh, how much you make. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.